Enzo Ferrari and uh, the empire that he created. It's unbelievable how the people love the, the brand, how the people is crazy about it. On the, on the race weekend you can see in the Formula One, the television, that the people goes crazy about Ferrari. And I think they, they create something special, something different from another, another uh, brands. Uh, you, can call, you can call it charisma or uh, something magic that is a different than another brands. And that's why I think uh, all the, the sport, uh, sportmen like me also like Ferrari as a, as, a, as a dream, as apart from his career. It's difficult, but at the same time it's very motivating, no? because uh, you know that if you, you are too relaxed or you don't make your, your best effort, uh, he beats you every time. No? So you, it's a big motivation to keep working every day to try to, to arrive in your best shape to be the, the first uh, rider in your team. So Valentino is, uh, as everybody knows, one of the best uh, riders in the history, if not the, the best ones. So to try to stay in his level or try to beat him is really, really difficult. And I, I have to, to be always at my, at my best level. No? Well, it was a period, maybe two or three years ago, that I made some uh, Car, car races, uh, not uh, with the formulas, but uh, with the Turismos. I raced the 24 hours of Montmeló, and I, uh, we made a very good result. I finished fifth and first in our category. Uh, and I went also to Ascari to, to, to race some uh, quite fast cars. Uh, and, I, and I tried a GP2 in Valencia in 2012. But finally, I think uh, you, you have to concentrate in your life in some uh, in something that you do the best no and uh, what i do the best in my life is riding motorbikes so i don't think i could be in the level of fernando kimi or uh, Vettel in the formula one